Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. What is the best equipment to running a 3D software for jury CAD design? We are going to look into that today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today we are going to talk about the equipment, what kind of laptop that you should get to running your 3D program. I created this chart to compare all the software needs and to analyze what kind of the computer should I get. So let me walk you through how I getting into this page. Few software that I use on my computer. So first things I is going to their website on the Rhino uh, 3D.com on their support. If you are using the window or if you're using the Mac, it has a list of what uh, it is required for it. So on my computer, I also run Keyshot software. It is a rendering software that do all my rendering. I do not do my rendering in the Rhino. So in the Keyshot, you can also find a system required and that is a list on this page. Some of you may want to use some Rhino plugin like Metric Go, Rhino Go, and Metric. You can come to the Staller website and to understand the software that you need. I personally have Rhino Go, so it's under TDM solution and it has the list of what I need, so I will include in this into the compare sheet. I also run ZBrush for some sculpting work. In their website, there are the system requirements, but I will suggest you go to the full spec. And in the full spec for running the ZBrush, they will highly recommend the specification. I will suggest you go on the higher side. For example, they require the RAM for 8 gigabyte and 16 gig is prefer and sometimes I was working on this too complicated phone I even 16 gig will crash it so minimum system required is 4 gig if you can afford I will recommend you bump up your requirement to the left side over here another important software that I have is not 3d but 2d is a, a Adobe software if you know how to use some basic Photoshop and Illustrator it's really beneficial for your freelance career so here's my list here for all the software that I needed and for the requirement on the system including the processor, operating system and RAM and so on. If you go to the link in the description below, you're going to see this subscribe it to this sheet here and just uh, subscribe to the newsletter. I promise you I won't send you junk mail, only the good stuff. And then you are able to download the PDF file. So among all of the software, what I do next is to mark on what is the highest equipment that I can get from those and then that will be the minimum that I'm looking for for my computer. This is my computer. I use a MSI computer. It is a gaming computer. The reason the graphic is better, the speed is faster and there will be no mistake in running 3D software. I have this computer for about three years. It's running no problem when I have Rhino, Keyshot, Rhino, Keyshot, and Photoshop on at the same time. I'm using the MSI Steel Pro series and you have to get the I Intel i7. This is the minimum I will suggest. And I'm running with the window 10. A lot of the software require at least window 8 or window 10. You always want to get the newest one. For the RAM, I have 16 gigabyte for my computer but sometimes when i'm working on the zbrush it's a little bit heavy and sometimes the computer will shut so i will recommend at least 16 but you can get 32 gigabyte will be great for the graphic card i like to use Nvidia geforce for the hardest space uh 128 gig is fine for running the rhino but again if you're running zbrush you might need to get it uh, bigger and of course the bigger space is better on the monitor resolution you can get a regular full-size screen which is good for like 3d software but if you really like the high quality and you are more on the graphic side you may want to use a 4k which might bump up the price a little bit i personally like to use 15.6 
size of the screen because I can travel with it. In my studio, I also have another larger screen next to my laptop. It's much easier to work on if you have two screens when you work on your freelance job. So if you go to MSI uh, website, you can see they have a lot of product choice. Uh, you can, all the gaming series is fine. I especially like the very thin one, um, but they also have the content creation series and I was checking on it, uh, the creation and the workstation series it seems really well to fit it all the requirement and even better so you might want to check it out and like what I say you have the 15.6 inch screen or 15.6 4k screen and 4k is actually bump up the price a lot so you can go and uh, check it out another computer that I use in the past and is Asus I was using the Zenbook it's really really thin and really light and it's really powerful so it was great to have it the only downside is I had the computer for about three years maybe I was using way too much it ended up with the hard drive crashing that's why I go with the MSI the currently the computer I've been using and it's still running good on top of what I have in my computer I also want to introduce a couple things for you in my studio I have this uh, lamp on top of the screen that is sent from a bank company and I do find this uh, too beneficial to have this lamp here a lot of time my working environment is pretty dark so I can see the true color from the screen but it's hard for me to take in note or draw sketch in that kind of environment so this light serving a really good light source for me and the benefit is it doesn't have a glare the second thing is a lot more ease on your eyes which i like both of them and some of you asking me what kind of a recording mic that i use this is the yeti mic that i'm using I've been using multiple different kind of a mic and end up with this one. It's budget friendly and also this is the sound that you're hearing. If you love sculpting, you might want to use the Wacom tablet. It is a pressure sensor, so if you're using the ZBrush, it can sense the pressure to sculpting deeper, lighter. I had the old version of the Centic Pro 13. I think they just have the Centic Pro 16. It's a really good size to use if you are interested in ZBrush. I'm not a computer hardware expert, but just want to share with you what I'm using for my work. I hope this can help you to decide what kind of equipment you wanted to get. Thank you for watching and see you next.